guys so today what's on the menu it's some fried duck i know everybody like curry duck and everybody cook curry duck i don't see a lot of, so we normally call this like a black pepper duck and i'm gonna walk you guys how we how um we make it how i make it um this is a duck i pick up from the um farm a day i'm gonna show you guys how i go and get my fresh duck so hubby is trying to cut it i you normally cut it very small so let me show you guys how he is cutting it up very small here see in small pieces so i will walk you guys and here's the cut man you see cut man cutty, cutty <laughs> so i'm gonna walk you guys i'm gonna walk you guys how um we cook this guys this is my setup for my um duck i'm gonna show you guys how i fried it so i put onion in here i put a nice onion so um it will you know get us to get some taste so the the technique in this let this onion get brown very brown so i'm gonna leave it for like i would say um two to three minutes in the oil to for it to fry and get nice and brown it started to get brown already okay guys so here we are it's nice and brown i'm gonna add my green seasoning now all the green seasoning like you know your your basil and broad leaf thyme and celery and everything blend up with with a lot of garlic and pepper so i'm gonna add that to this garlic now um to my oil with the onion now okay guys all my green seasoning my pepper and my garlic everything is in there now look how good that good and you don't want to know how the smell is it's so good so everything is in there now so after this fry for our next um two to three minutes i will add my meat in there okay guys so this is after two to three minutes i'm adding my meat to the to my seasoning in there I'm gonna add all this in it's one duck this is a recipe from my mom my mom was the first one that i saw do, do this so as you see, you see the duck is cut up very small. So I didn't steam it out. Okay, let me give this a good turn. Let's see how good that looks. How good that looks. Okay guys, so as I call it's black pepper duck. So here I am adding my black pepper in it. So you add like nice black pepper and some people like it and some people don't. So you, you know, it's black pepper duck. So if you don't want to use black pepper, that's okay though. That's okay if you don't want to. So not a lot of people like black pepper. So add some black pepper there. I'm gonna add two sasan. So I put I put a spoon I, I put a, a tablespoon of um old bay season and now I'm gonna add it to sazan and as I always tell you guys you um put salt to your taste I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here because all my seasoning have salt in them so I'm gonna just add a little bit of regular salt here so that's all I'm gonna put for now. And when it's halfway, I'm gonna add a little bit of kiasra in it, just to give it that little color because it's gonna be a little too white. But you don't need to add the kiasra if you don't want to. I just add the kiasra for the color. So this is how, this is the ingredients I use for my black pepper duck, guys. I'm gonna show you guys. You're gonna see how, I know it look kinda white right now. When all the seasoning and everything cooks in, I'm going to cover this now and let it cook. How good that looks. So I'm going to cover it now and leave, leave it to cook. Okay guys, so see this is halfway through here. I just add a little bit of ketchup to it. So I'm going to leave this to go down now. As you see, my meat is boiling. Look. See? Okay guys, this is my fried duck. It's all black pepper duck. It's all finished and it's ready. I'm going to empty it out now. 
Okay guys, so today it's a different something on the menu. It's called Multani. Some people call it Murgatani. And some people call it Murgatani, as I'll be saying. So we're gonna make some today and I'm gonna walk you guys through how we making it. How we making it. So this is some chicken foot. I bought like eight chicken other day that keep the foot and this is some mutton. So and then you're gonna put some dal. So I'm gonna wash this dal. I got two cup of dal here, and I'm gonna put it in so we start boil while well, we get in the meat um, prepared. Okay, guys, so I put the dal in. You see, I put like a, say a mug, a mug and a half of water. You have, you want this to boil with a lot of water because it's the liquid. Everything is gonna melt and become the liquid. So I um, put the um. A head of garlic so I am um, all that garlic went in and the doll so this is gonna boil whereas I'm gonna be getting the meat ready okay so here this we is have a main, this is the main man for the morgatani tamarind we put in some is sour, sour tamarind okay guys this is the first time actually I'm I'm you know in the middle of this but I think the head chef is my dad and the and the, and the co chef is, is the husband so I have little idea about what I'm doing I'm just co helping today <laughs> okay guys so this is my meat all washed and clean and foot all cleaned out cutting the nails and all of that and this is my seasoning this is the green seasoning with some garlic and pepper all blend up so I'm just gonna fry up this meat with that to go in the multani. So you see, the dal is bubbling here. So I got my oil all ready to go to fry up my meat now. Okay, guys. So I just put my um seasoning, the blend that I had, I had, and I show you guys. And up here I had some old bay seasoning with some cube and um some sazon. So I'm going to stir this up now and then I'm going to add um, two spoon of two tablespoon of masala in it too. All right guys, this is a tamarind here, peel and um, all, this, this is a monk we're going to be putting in and a little tips here, little tricks to it. We, we don't want to get the seed in so we will add some water and squish it up and get the seed out. We just need it, the, the sour. Pope. Yeah, he just need the pulp in it, so we gonna t gotta seed it. So I think some warm water should do to help get the seeds out. Yeah. Okay, guys. So this is how it look. It's gonna be all frying up now. You got everything in it, and you put salt to your taste. Um. So we had add some nice seasoning in here and getting it all cooking. So once this fry up and all ready, and when the doll is like I think a little bit boiled three quarter away boiled then we're gonna add the meat in it okay guys so this is the tamarind all seed all out and this is the bear tamarind juice going in with the pulp speak all right guys so you have some weary we pepper going in this is from far in the garden so the Morgatani coming up here now, taking shape. You could, you could get the smell. Mm -hmm. There's the meat. So in Guyana, yeah, we call it Multani. And this is how our way of making the Multani. And it's really a, a good good for hangover. So today's my father in law birthday and we had a few drinks last night. So guess what? This is gonna set everybody back right so the meat is all ready for the pot it's all fried up and ready for when it's ready to throw in you got to now? yep okay all right like i told you guys it's my first time so i'm just taking instruction right now i am not doing nothing out of my own so they said the meat is ready so let's throw it in i have you with your one hand can you hold the spoon all right guys so here it is. I'm not trying not to get bored. Okay. So all the goodness going in there. Okay, so let me have this. Yeah. 
Oh my God, look at this here. Look at this here. Somebody's calling you. Okay, guys. So here you go. It's all going to boil up and turn into one big, I think it's a liquid that everybody's going to drink. So here it is. So it's going to come to a melting boil. Melt. You got to melt up everything together. Okay, guys. So you see this is like three quarter way done already. So everything is melting. I think they're going to have to go to it back so the doll is completely melted. So here it is. Okay guys, so we, you call this gote, um, or swizzle, or whichever, you know, however you guys call it. So we're going to have all, everything to mix together. I'll be everything melted, as you can see some of the meat melt out on from the bone and everything, look, look at that. So I'm going to make sure the doll is all, so this is like three quarter we finish off here. So now we're gonna make sure everything is melted together. Mm, the smell here, guys. Oh man. Hmm. This is gonna Sorry. taste. The smell alone tells you this is gonna taste really, really good. And the, everybody's gonna be revived and ready for a next start for the birthday today. So. Yeah, the real, the real birthday now. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Yeah, so this is our style of making the, the multani. Yes, guys. I know everybody have their own way, but this is our style, and it's from my dad. <laughs> my dad is from Madras. My dad is telling me he is from the Madras side. I mean, I don't know much about that, but he is from the Madras style, and this is how they and make it. Needs some more pepper. Oh, more pepper in it? Yeah, he want more pepper in it. Then and it, I guess Madras then? people use a lot of pepper. Yeah, more but I'm pepper thinking than they the gotta kids drink. will eat it. Yeah. They gotta drink it. So I don't wanna add too much pepper to burn them. So I'm I, I don't think I'm gonna add any more. I think you have enough pepper in it. Because my garlic my garlic and the seasoning had some pepper and I see he put some re re pepper in it. So I think. So we almost here and um what we gonna do? We're gonna chunk it like when we cook dal. So I'm gonna get that prepared with some you know the garlic and some um, whole jeera and we're gonna get that prepared to chunky it once it all finish you finish up got the goodness here guys i think the smoke the heat keep on um, not getting okay guys so this is the chunky up now so this is the garlic and um garlic and jeera whole jeera is frying up here and then you're gonna just throw it in there Just chunky up there. So it's almost done there. It's just chunky and I'm gonna yes. a little so more there. Up here. Look at that guys. So it's all ready to eat here. The chunky and everything, it's all ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so this is it. This is the Multani or the Muratani, um, Mulgatani, whichever how you guys say it. This is it. It's all finished. So, as usual, when my dad or someone is trying it, I'll let you guys know how it tastes. 